You guys, we got cut. I don't know if you knew that. We're but dead. We're, we're in heaven. See how we're all in white? Ascendant. Ascendant. What does heaven look like? It looks like this. Cheers. Actually, salud. As we're, salud. In, we're in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Beautiful place to be. Basically heaven. Oh, is it good. We're also drinking beer in honor of Prague, where the most beer is consumed per capita in the world. Is that true? I think that was the stat that was given on this week's episode of The Amazing Race Season 30. 3.9% alcohol. Angels can't drink heavy beer. Oh, it would weigh them down. I'm learning so many things. Recap time. Took a taxi to the Rodolfino. Got U-turn by Big Brother. Had to do both sides of the detour. Studied astronomy and passed the exam in two tracks. Perfectly poured a beer. Delivered kegs to a party boat. Went to a bathhouse with some naked men. Trevor answered phones and the meaning of life. Got eliminated on the mat. And now, it's time for a question and answer. Are you two mad at Jessica and Cody? No, we're not mad at all. We weren't mad then. We're not mad now. You can even see that day. Not at oh, all. No, we would have done the same. I mean, it's just, it's smart of them. I mean, they have to survive. It's we a would, game. We would have done the same. You would have done the same thing. Yeah. We have yeah. to. I mean, it's and the you, game you play. It must have been a horrible feeling, though, being on that flight and just knowing that you were behind because you've been consistently in the front. This was the first leg that it mattered that we started behind because the other legs we started ahead, but we had to wait for everything to open. And so everybody was evened out for the other legs. Um, but this mm. was the first one that it mattered that we were behind. So that, that was the most frustrating thing, I think. What was your favorite challenge on the race? Sailing out to the buoy in San Tropez. It was such a gorgeous day, gorgeous weather. It was nice to do something physical after being trapped in an airport and a car. car. That night we'd slept on the slept marble floor in a, the Paris airport. Uh, so it was nice just to be out doing something physical in the water. I'm a cancer, I'm a water sign, so I'm meant to be a crab in the sea. I think my favorite challenge was any time that we got to work together. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I know. I have a lot of specific things that I bring to the race that I'm good at, but I also have like so many things that I'm really bad at. Are you are using this as a resume? Uh, are you applying to some jobs here? Greatest flaws that I Care too, too much. much. Sometimes I sing too beautifully. <laughs> so I think my favorite challenges were any time that we got to actually work together and use our talents like as a partnership. Um, like when we got to do the diamonds, there were really specific things that Trevor and I were both good at that we could apply to that challenge. The university exam, Trevor and I both have pretty good memories, and so we were able to listen and hear a lot of those answers the first time together. I think one of the reasons that we're able to work so well together is because, I mean, we've literally worked together side by side for six years. It's been like... I mean, I've spent more hours with you than apart from you in the last six years, which is That's insane. Frightening. So I think it was just cool to be able to put like that whole work dynamic and friendship dynamic to the test. And you can see in this next clip where we have elaborated on that on the mat. I think it gave us a chance to uh, do something outside of Well Strung together, uh, which was nice. But uh, it was it was cool seeing that we st still work kind of in the same way that we do. Yeah, I think we. We've learned how to work together well. We have very different personalities, but in the time we've spent in our uh, musical group together, I think that's really, a lot of that has applied to the race. Yeah. Do you think you got a fair edit? We were super anxious at first, before the viewing of the first episode, because we had no idea how they were going to cut together all this footage. You're filled with so much adrenaline while you're running that, like, I don't have clear memories of saying some of the things that, like, I'm watching myself say on television. So, I mean, I lost, like, a lot of the detail, like, what is it, how did I react to this specific moment? Was I rude here? Did I yell at somebody? Well, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to answer that until I saw the episodes. I was so scared that I was going to come across like in a manic state. Yeah, me too. Like I wouldn't be able to function. I wouldn't have language come to me. I'd <laughs> be just void of any English. Capabilities. Um, the English was even that useful. A couple people have like complimented us on our upbringings because of how polite we are. Hello. Oh, sorry. Do you need a hand? My friend at home was like, you were the only one to push your chair in at the end of the exam. <laughs> Paris! Je fais un Paris! She's having a good time. Yeah. Okay. She's got the big hair, yeah. ready uh -huh. to go. You want to help? <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. Trevor um, takes any opportunity he can to, for beautification to help. Someone. help. Um, Beautiful. C'est magnifique. I think she's our good luck charm, right? She seems... Um, in good spirits. Do you have any regrets? 
We don't have many regrets. I think we did very well. If there's one thing I could change in general, I think we could have just taken a moment of calmness right after receiving a clue to really think about where we were going and the best way to calmly execute the challenge. I don't know what you're talking about at all. That's how I approach every task in With my life. Trevor. Calmness and um, calmness purpose and clarity. And Trevor and I make such a great team because we you know we collaborate to arrive at a good product. But I'm definitely much more inclined to just go, 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 and to Trevor's chagrin. Chagrin. What is this? It's gonna be S H. Oh. <laughs> I was assuming the challenges would be more physical, and I regret that we couldn't have advanced over other teams <sighs> using some of our physicality. I know. Nothing was too strenuous or too taxing on the muscles. Yeah, it was mostly, I mean, running was the most physical part of the race, for sure. That was and the most And that wasn't constant. even seen. We were really hoping that when we got to the Rudolfinum in Prague, that there was going to be a musical challenge waiting for us right under, you know, the eye of Antonin Dvorak, we were really expecting to be able to make up some time in a musical challenge. Whoops. That's a regret. We didn't get to do any animal challenges. I was raised with a million animals. Uh, my family has a large nonprofit animal rescue. I've worked in a vet. I've worked around animals my whole life. And I would have loved to have the chance to, to do that. Like milk you, a camel or something? To milk a camel or something. Yeah. I, Trevor was the fastest goat milker in Washington State. Is that right? For... More or less. I wanted to give a shout out to said animal rescue organization, Puget Sound Rescue. Here's a beautiful dog. Doesn't it look wonderful and adoptable? It's <gasps> cool. so you should adopt it. If you're in the Seattle area, you should adopt this dog, or this dog, or this dog. All very adoptable, all in need of homes. We wanted to offer you guys a huge thank you for taking this journey with us. It has been so cool um, to interact with you guys online, to hear your comments and questions, and everything you thought of what we were running around the world doing. It just meant a lot that you guys were involved in that with us. You guys have given us an outpouring of condolences and support. Uh, family, friends, strangers, and everybody. So thank you so much. One of my best friends actually had a very similar experience this week, and she sent this message. No! Also, I got eliminated, so f*** you. I love you guys, but... Georgie Thor. Cut! from RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. We were super honored to be able to represent our band well strung, to represent the LGBT community, and also just be representative of our country traveling to other countries around the world. The race might be over for us, but we're not done making videos. We hope to still do recaps or other content from the band or from our travels or just tomfoolery yeah. of our everyday lives. We can't wait to stay in touch with you guys, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. We started in New York, and then we went to Iceland, and then we went to the Netherlands, and then we went to Belgium, and then we went to Morocco, and then we went to France, and then here we are in the Czech Republic. Alabama. A L A B A M A. Alaska. A L. Sounded like a do, the dick of the do. I'd probably be bored. I'd be here. Wow, I really feel enchanting. What is it that you want? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it that you need? What is it that you need? Talk like Adam's got talking like a robot. Well, strong to represent the LGBT. Damn it, LGBT. The LG. LGBT. <laughs> Lettuce, garlic, bacon, and tomato. Represent the LGBT. <laughs> I can't. Trouble. Also represent the LG. No, LGBT. <laughs> the LGBT community. <laughs> West Virginia. Oh, it's West Virginia. West, West Virginia. W E S T. <laughs>